In this video, I'm going to try uh, something that I've seen on the internet. Uh, I'm going to try putting in a SRAM 9-speed shifter with a Shimano 10-speed derailleur with the clutch. So this one has the clutch. Not that the clutch matters, but this is why people want to do it, because it does have the clutch. So, um, yeah, they want to... The point is to get a 9-speed setup with a clutch. So to do this, I guess, the cable pull on this is perfect. It matches up with this, not for 10 speed obviously, but for 9 speed. And then uh, it works. Because SRAM and Shimano, Shimano shifters obviously, shifters and derailers, aren't supposed to be able to use them together. So here's the model number of mine and it's 10 speed. And uh, I have the same shifter up here. It's a... Uh, SRAM XO 9 speed. You can't, I don't think you can even buy them anymore. Uh, X9 will work too just fine. XO is just a bit nicer. Right now it's set up, um, I'll actually show you it working just so we, you know, there's nothing changed. So that's an XO derailleur and XO 9 speed shifter. Okay, so now I'm going to swap it out for the Shimano one and we'll see how it goes. So while I have the derailleur off, I'm going to actually check the uh, derailleur hanger alignment with uh, this Park Tool derailleur hanger alignment gauge, DAG1. Just a bit off uh, on this axis, just a bit. Check it front to back also. Yeah, it's pretty much right on. So that's good. You want to make sure that's straight so the uh, derailleur can be aligned properly and so that won't cause any issues, that's for sure. Here I have the Z derailleur bolted on and I'm just attaching the chain. This, uh, this derailleur is the short cage free ride version, this one. Gonna set the bottom set screw there. I'm also gonna try, once I get the cable on and everything, I'm gonna try setting the B screw properly, but I, I did I'll be able to with this cassette. So another, another idea in my mind was uh, a 10 speed chain is a bit uh, thinner than a 9 speed I'm pretty sure. 
So I was wondering how that would interact in the cage, but it seems to be fine. So that's good. I couldn't see, you, usually there's no problem with going up a speed and chain, like putting a 10 speed on this, but you never know, there might be a problem. So there's that, all set up. Um, another, on a form I also saw, there is a, I might need a spacer in here that's about, I'd say four millimeters tall to make it, to put the uh, cable contact spot out more. Uh, I'm not sure if it's exactly four millimeters, but we're gonna try this out and then uh, maybe, maybe if it doesn't work, that's what I'll need. Um, and I'll figure out how to do that later if that happens. Uh, this this might not work right away because I'll have to adjust the cable. So don't don't think I'm doing it wrong right at the start, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> that was the uh, shifter cable there. I thought it was the derailleur going in the spokes. That would have been bad. <laughs> Need to back out my set screw for the low gear. Still a bit more. Wow, that uh, that actually seemed to work pretty well on the way up. Bit of rubbing, but wow. Okay, I'm uh. my bottom gear right there. Not wanting to shift down right here, but I'm gonna keep on. Oh yeah, it's just that. I did just loosen off the uh, barrel adjuster up front at the shifter, so I have to redo that again. Okay, so that shift is good. I've got that. Top, bear. Top set screw just is a bit... Um, I think this is working though. This is amazing. Never would have known. Very smooth too. Ah, there. I think I think we're gonna need that spacer. There is. I can't get it exact. There is a bit of problem. Shit, I've been doing the wrong screw.
Yeah. You see, oh, that's pretty good. But right here, no wait. Okay, going down is not bad. Could be a bit smoother. But going up right here doesn't happen. Oh, right, yeah, even going down sometimes. Just sometimes. Yeah, a bit slow. Right there, not too slow. There, I had to get a bit, some extra. Yeah, but it, it's, it's not bad right now. Um, definitely going to try out a spacer here to see if that clears things up, and I'll uh, get back to you. So here I've uh, tried some spacers on the cable bolt. What I did was I got a, uh, this is actually a long disc rotor bolt. Um, it's the same thread. I think it's M5 by 1, but not 100% sure on that. You'd have to look it up. Um, so this actually made it shift way worse. I don't know why. People are saying a 4 millimeter or so spacer in there clears up any small problems, but it's making it worse for me. Uh, get a quick video of, it just, it might, like it'll go up, I'll tune it to shifting up no problem, but then, but then shifting down, it doesn't really happen at all. Yeah, it just messes it up. Yeah, skipped over a full gear there. So uh, I'm gonna go try this on another bike with uh, X9 nine speed. And we'll see, because this this drive train here is a bit worn. The chain is a bit worn. The cassette's a bit worn. So I'm gonna try it on something else. See if it has the same result. Now this without the spacers is pretty good. It's it's what people are saying on the forums. It's pretty much, uh, you know, hitter. Mostly, mostly it shifts well, but every so often there's a small uh, weight to change a gear. So it's not perfect without the spacer, but uh, it's way worse with the spacer for me. Maybe it's just the way I set it up. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the next bike. Okay, back with a different bike now. It's a SRAM X9 shifter and derailleur. Uh, X9 is on it right now on the derailleur. I'm gonna just show you. This one works pretty well. There's no uh, no noise. Every shift is decently smooth. Good from top to bottom. So I'll uh, put the Shimano Z1 on it and we'll try it out. Okay, so with this bike, I have got it working perfectly, totally rideable, without spacers. So that stock derailleur. Shifter up here. An X9 9 speed. So I'll uh, show you guys how well it works. Very crisp. Doesn't miss one shift.
So there you have it. It works and it works pretty damn well. As I said, definitely totally rideable. Oh, right here I got uh, my chain's not um, long, or my chain's too long. I had a medium cage derailleur on it and now it's a short cage. That's why the chain's too loose. Um, which is amazing, it's working even though the chain length isn't correct. Yeah, I'll do it again from uh, this angle. There you have it. Um, I'll upload, or I'll at the end of this video, I'll put a. I'll try to get a GoPro mounted here of me riding, out on the street, tomorrow when it's uh, light out. But yeah, that's it. So just have a normal SRAM nine-speed setup and throw a Z derailleur on it. You'll get the clutch and everything. And that's why you do it. Let's let's try shifting with the clutch actually first with the clutch on, sorry. No problem. See so yeah, the setting the clutch has right there is pretty pretty stiff but not uh not stopping totally. So as you can see, as I get into the bigger gears, it does move. Um, shifting up, I've heard people, or I've heard it being said with the clutch on, it's harder to shift up, or technically it should be harder. But I, with this Ram shifter up here, big lever on it, I didn't feel much resistance at all. So it's it's really good. Definitely a doable setup. Anyways, thanks for watching.